So we have something from the victim, and then we have something from the victimizer, the evil spirit, and Catherine uh, Blackwood. Now, see, because if we try to combine them, I couldn't blend the items together in their current state. Now, I might have figured this out at some point, but I really doubt it. You'll never guess where we're heading. Hell, I don't know where we're heading. Um, yeah, here we go. I don't know, maybe someone does know where we're heading. Maybe someone's like, oh, well, yeah, duh, use that thing. This thing, right here. Let's go around the corner here. This grinder. I would like to be in a position to use the grinder, please. I mean, I never even really looked at this. I just saw it on the table and I was like, oh, that's fascinating. The grinder is open and waiting for anything to be in tossed inside to test its blades. <sighs> Boy. Lion Claw! Shut. Turn the crank. Ugh. Powdered lion claw. Remnants of the claw I took from the gallery. Catherine's tooth! Oh, we can't. Oh, shut that. Open that. Pop! Powdered Catherine's tooth. Powdered stuff. Can we put the berries with it? Yes, we can. Can we put it on the stick? No. So now, what do we do? Okay, uh, uncover the body. Yep, yep, yep. I'm suffering the same ailment that disturbed Blackwood, and in turn, Milton. First the whispers, then the feeling of a presence stalking me in the house. Curse is real, and I've revived it with my revive arrival. I must do something. <laughs> yeah, left Catherine or two. Okay, so we did all that. <laughs> That's fascinating, Grant. Now what? We have a match left. Their definition of amulet's different than what I was thinking of when I first thought. Um, amulet can mean just about anything, really, as long as it's a, a spiritual doodad thingy. I need this room. You know why we're in here. It has a stove. And this is a little plate! Interesting idea, but it wouldn't have much support. Oh, that didn't work. I thought I was supposed to do that. With a little wire. Oh my god! That's what the thing is! Ha! Okay. Apparently I didn't read all the steps. I <laughs> just kind of have a vague idea what I'm doing. See, we put the paint can lid on top of it. Now we put the smoop on top of that. And we take our very last match. And we pray. <clears throat> we made... We have made... Through alchemy... We have made a lump... Of purest green! Almost organic. So we have made a stick! Felt the strange sensation. The amulet seemed to be vibrating. I was ready. The amulet was complete. I'm still not sure, but occasionally I feel a slight vibration coming from it. Well, we know what to do with the thing now. Oh, shit. Something's laughing at me. I don't like that at all. I'm ready to perform the ritual and finish what Blackwood started years ago. I feel weird doing this because I'm not fully convinced of the story, but at least I have to try. I know something's wrong with this house and that mask. <laughs> I'm going to save, just in case something stupid happens. <sighs> I'm 
It's giving me chills. I really like this. This is a game that it's 100% atmosphere, and I think they did a good job with it. And I don't feel like the puzzles have been completely ball-breaking. I mean, like, one or two I needed a little bit of help on? Yeah, you keep laughing, Chuckle. Almost said the bad F word. You keep laughing, Chuckle, but I'm coming for you. I got a stick with a lump of green on it. Yeah, you keep laughing. As if it were aware of my intentions, the mask now appeared as if to defy me, challenging me to make the first move. Come at me, bro. Take that. I waved the amulet in front of it. And then... And then nothing happened. The atmosphere feels lighter, as if the house had been relieved of a monstrous burden. Oh, well, good. Nothing else seemed to happen. We have the stick still. Huh. The amulet was okay. The mask is silent now. If such a... Well, it, he did quit laughing at me. Gone are the whispers in my mind and the constant pressure around me. I feel relieved somehow. And how to say this, it's almost like the house feels the same way. Am I making any sense? Probably not a single thing does now, but I feel fine. That's the only thing that matters. Oh, boy. Let's get the hell out of here. Car's charged up. House has been purified. We're still alive. Ah, happy music. Happy music. <clears throat> I think we won. That's good. Let's get out of here before we get arrested. What? I stood there paralyzed in terror as I heard those horrible noises again. They just wouldn't stop. Damn it! There they are again. I can't believe it, but I defeated it. For God's sake, why do they keep coming back? The fireplace. What the hell? Saving... down the fireplace, I couldn't shake the feeling of entering a forbidden zone, a place it had been and was supposed to remain forgotten in time. Wait, 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 is this the... This is the room I saw the person in. Pipes rusted long ago. The passage was full of junk. A filthy cracked sink. Junk, junk, junk. Rusty pipes, junk. Furnace? That looks like the furnace. <coughs> oh, I can open it now. I remember being soaking wet and shaking with fear, yet I just had to go on as if driven by some unseen force. Damn you, player! Teddy bear. Remnants of food on the table. Someone or something had been eating down here. Pipes. A disgusting teddy bear covered in mud and dirt was lying on the ground. It appeared to have bites that had ripped its neck. Suddenly the words of William Bailey concerning the body of Catherine Blackwood echoed in my head. Ripped, she would say. What the hell? Is their kid alive? Traces of raw meat. It appears that they've been dropped through the grating. Uh, I'm gonna die horribly. Oh, sh Hit 
hit it with the hammer. That works too. Yep, F this place. <laughs> Time to turn the gas on and leave that last match behind. Screw that. Rub two sticks together. Burn that mother down. I guess the youngster was still Unsure alive. Of what I had just seen, I raced my car and left Blackwood Manor as quickly as possible. I'm not ashamed of what I did. That disfigured face is still stalking my nightmares, and I've never put foot inside a Victorian house ever since. But there's certainly one thing that I'm grateful for. It was thanks to my encounter below that house that I was able to finish my book and become a prolific writer. Very Cthulian, except the protagonist should have died or went insane. So I guess the thing that they were complicit in was the three of them obviously the boy was born deformed and they'd had problems with the pregnancy and so they agreed to say he died and kept him in the basement he appears to have gotten out but then uh, numbnuts number one went all ah the mask is driving everyone crazy We'd better kill my wife and then subsequently die myself. So there's no one left to take care of the boy. Oh, that's effed up. Someone has been, because they've been dropping meat down there. Anyway, a great story. I think I would have preferred it as a book. This would have made a really good book. Something by Leighton. I could see Leighton writing this. Silver rats. Um, the puzzles weren't complete bastards. I'm not gonna lie, I looked up one or two of them. Especially that thing at the last where you put all the crap on a paint can lid on the camp stove in the attic. <sighs> the atmosphere was really good. Production values weren't bad. The moving around by clicking the mouse was kind of strange, but meh, if it makes the game easier to produce, whatever. And it still lets you kind of look wherever you wanted. I don't know, I'm, I'm not unhappy with it. And it even gave me a good scare. <laughs> Effin' dream with the mask. It pissed me off. <laughs> it reminded me of... Uh, there's this Japanese game where a blue demon with a giant head chases you, and <laughs> it sounds really stupid, but it's like, I don't know, it's like Ahu Oni or something like that? I don't know, I can't think of the name. Two Japanese guys played it, and it's pretty hilarious, just listening to them play, even if you don't understand a thing they're saying, you can get some of the context. And nothing really happened in the game. There was the dreams, which were scary. And going into the basement was a little scary. Um, I would have appreciated this more if I was younger, but then I, I probably wouldn't have been able to beat it if I was younger. I would have had to use a guide the whole time. Our girlfriends. For putting up with this. HP Lovecraft. Yeah. It's not quite rats in the walls. It's similar. There's definitely Lovecraftian influences here, especially with the author, but like I said, in a good horror story, the author would have gone insane. I'm glad I didn't get eaten by the thing at the in the end, though. That would have sucked. Although it would have been fitting, you know, the police would come, find the car, and then, oh, we don't, well, I guess I did leave the grate open. Hmm. Maybe they would have found me. Hard to say. What, we're back here again? A door appears to be open. Yeah, yeah, we, I figure he made it out. Into the world to do mutant person things. Anyway, that was the Scratch's director cut. And there's the last visit, which I don't know what that is. I'll, I'll look into that later, and if it's a different game, maybe we'll play that too. In the meantime, we'll uh I'll see you guys later.